Hey everybody, Josh. Uh, Want to check in again this week? It's a good week. I've been busy uh, writing. Um, so let's talk about the mindset of an investor. There is a lot of craziness going on right now. A lot of craziness going on in the stock market. All right, we need to not get caught up in the hype. All right, stick to your investing principles. Okay, we're dollar cost, cost averaging into known good companies. That's how we make our money over the long term. You know, if you're dollar cost averaging into REITs or into companies like McDonald's, keep doing that. Okay, these fast is fast money comes and goes. We don't have enough money to get caught up in the hype. All right, if you want to throw away or throw, you know, 5% or less to this uh, phony money, go ahead. I tried it. You know, I put my money in a couple things, you know, 10 bucks, 20 bucks. But we don't want to get caught up in that hype. All right, that's when we start to lose money. Let's keep doing what we're doing. Um, now, limiting beliefs. This is a big topic for us entrepreneur types or want to be entrepreneur types. Okay, because these limiting beliefs, things that prevent us from going out there, is what's preventing us from going out there. All right, part of yourself is telling yourself that you can't do it. The market is saturated. There's already enough people out there. Everybody's already made money on YouTube. Okay, this mindset, this is a scarcity mindset. This means that we think that there's not enough money or enough opportunity out there. There is. Every single day, somebody is graduating high school. Every single day, someone is going into the workforce. Every single day, someone is joining the military. That's where we come in. Okay, all, as we all know, mentorship is dead in the workplace. They need people that they can look up to. How can they have a successful marriage if they don't know what a successful marriage looks like? Their parents were divorced or whatever else. Okay, how can they join the military if they don't know anybody in the military? How can they start writing a blog when nobody that looks like them writes a blog? That's where we come in. Okay, so in order to beat, I guess is a word, probably not a good word, but in order to overcome our limiting beliefs, we have to create a why and a reason for us not to fall into that trap. Okay, when I was starting my blog, I did not want to do it. I did not want to put myself out there. I was living a good life. But ultimately, I want to be able to make money from anywhere in the world. I want to be on my own schedule. Okay, so I can wake up in the middle of the night, write a blog post, schedule it to release later. I'm good for today. Right, that's the life I want to live. I don't want to re remote work when I'm in Turkey and have to be on American schedule, waking up for eight hours stuck on my computer. That's not the life I want. All right, in order to have a truly free life where I can make the money I want it, the amount of money I want to make on my own terms, I had to create the blog. There was no other way to do it. And I'm super excited that I did that. All right. So if you haven't guessed, I like writing. I didn't know. All right. So once I got past my limiting belief and forced myself to do it, I now look back as a great decision and a great choice to keep going. All right. And also it helps my kids look up to me in that certain way. They know that dad went out there when he didn't have to. Okay, so that's the mindset of an investor. Keep doing what make what's, which is going to make us great. Okay, keep doing what's going to make us great. All right, that's dollar cost average for the long term. Don't go for the high gains. Over time, we're going to get the high gains. Okay, and then also limiting beliefs. Think about... What is your limiting belief or where you see yourself at and what's preventing you from getting there? And then from there, we can create our why and get past that. All right. That's my video for the week. Hope to see you next week and uh, have a good one. Bye.